we are in the heart of the country's capital, the city of Manila. And the Paco Arena is our battleground as we continue the coverage of Season 3 of Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup. Good afternoon, friends. I'm Coach Chris King de la Cruz, and joining me at the panel is Coach Russell Raypon together with CJ Ang, our courtside reporter. Good afternoon, Coach Russell. How are you today? I'm doing well, Coach Chris. How are you? I'm well, and this is a good day for basketball. We are in the last game of our quadruple header, and it's between the NU Bulldogs and the FUU Tamaraus. And we have three previous game play, games played earlier this day, and we want to revisit our uh, schedule today. Last game was won by the Mapua Cardinals against the defending champions, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. And game at hand right now is between the NU Bulldogs and the FEU Tamaraus. Let's go over group prime where these two teams belong. They are included in this group with the De La Salle Green Archers, Guangming College, Lyceum Pirates, Pua Cardinals, MCU Supremos, and the Enderon Titans to wrap up that group. And let's talk about Coach Russell, the tournament, tournament format that we have here in the Collegiate Cup. Well, uh, for this uh, Collegiate Cup, we have two gra uh, brackets, two groups, uh, where uh, nine teams each. Uh, the top two teams in each bracket will advance to the quarterfinals with a twice to beat advantage. Uh, teams that are numbered uh, three through six will engage each other in a crossover play in tournament to uh, determine the remaining quarterfinalists. Uh, the three lowest ranked teams are eliminated, unfortunately. Uh, the great thing about this tournament is the semifinal and final are both knockout games. So you got to win or you go home. Every game counts here at the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup tournament is fast the race to the top is fast and let's take a look at the feu tamaraus their last game was last april 11 they lost against the mapua cardinals 73 65 bj prey start for them with 16 points five rebounds supported by jorik bautista with 21 points and two assists what happened there coach well you know it's a it was a matter of styles making the fight and so you had uh, FEU, which had a clear advantage inside uh, and needed three-point shooting to really pick up. And they, so they got that from Bautista. Uh, and Prewitt did a great job establishing himself in the post. Unfortunately, they just ran up against a juggernaut in Mapua. They were just uh, really playing in rhythm and uh, got great games from Habaneta and uh, resulted in a, in a game that uh, they uh, needed to bounce back from today as they play NU. FEU looking to bounce back with two straight losses. And let's take a look now on the players to watch out for for the NU Bulldogs. We have Parks, Lim, and Jumamoy. What impact can they bring to this NU Bulldogs squad? Well, you know, you look at all three of those players. They have experience. Jumamoy was obviously a, a great junior player for them in their juniors program. So uh, he's older, he's seasoned, and you have uh, Parks who's athletic, uh, knows the system. I think it's a matter of being able to uh, take advantage of those uh, those strengths, uh, being able to do a great job pressuring the ball, uh, finishing defensive possessions, and then letting uh, their players get out and run and, uh, and operate freely in offensive space. The battleground is ready. Let's start this ball game and let's turn it over to Alvin Tanyada, our venue announcer for the call-ups and the starting five. Player number 20, Dave Bigot. 
And we're underway in this game between NU Bulldogs and FAU Tamaraus. NU going with Steve Nash, Enriquez, Jake Figueroa, Mark Parks, Kenshin Padrones, and Muhammad Diasana, while the FAU Tamaraus are going with John Ray Pasaol, VJ Prey, Jorik Bautista, Jedrick Da, and Muhammad Konatse. Corner three now for FAU, no good. And you now with the, with the attack, the Asana against Konatse. 13 seconds to shoot. Fumbles that letter. Padrones for three. No good. Bautista creating now for FEU. Gives it to Muhammad Konatse. Daa. Pasahol. VJ Prey testing the defense of Kenshin Padrones. Empty possession for FEU. Enriquez hesitation move, but Conat says, says no. I think, I think Fred heard the uh, footsteps of uh, number 24 coming in and should have short armed that layup. He probably should have extended, expected the contact. Mark Parks being called for that stepping on the line. Violation running out of real estate that possession. Pasaol now for FEU gives it to BJ Prey. You always have to know where you are on the court at all times. Don't want to turn all the turn over the ball and a misstep. Bautista first three-pointer is good. Like their first game against LPU, they were really bleeding there from way beyond Coach Russell. Yes, uh, Bautista is continuing his hot shooting from uh, last game. So that's probably something they need to look to in the future uh, or the rest of this ha uh, for this game is trying to find him so he can, uh, when his feet are set, he can catch the ball and just shoot it without any kind of hesitation. The Asana on the other hand for the NU Bulldogs 
scored at that under goal stab. Konatse hesitated, traveled, turned over. Ball possession now will go to the hands of the NU Bulldogs with 7 minutes 53 seconds remaining in this first quarter of action. That was two shots at number 24 det uh, deterred just by being in the right spot. Padrones at the block. Gives it to Mark Parks who wasn't ready. Figueroa saves it. Steve Nash Enriquez. No good. Pray forward pass. Pasaol. Too strong. He will run out of space. Turns the ball over again for FEU. High risk, low reward pass there. Probably a better uh, decision just to hold it and play five on five and take advantage of uh, whatever defense that NU is trying to play. In Tagalog, we call that alanganin, Coach Russell. Alanganin. Yeah, you, th there's a uh, 50-50 chance <laughs> of yes. getting it successful. Mark Parks from the corner, no good. Great ball movement though. Resulting in a great shot. Next time he'll shoot it again, he'll be open and he'll hit it. That's that's the, the premise of all the coaches. If you're open, take it. Yes, you want to be able to be in a position on the court where you're just shooting uh, or making plays without having to second guess what you're doing. You're not going to make 100% of your shots, so as long as you're taking a good shot in an in a area of the floor where you can make it, a coach will take it. There's a saying that goes like, the worst shot is the shot not taken. Yes. As Da blocks that shot against Jake Figueroa, 24 seconds. So he was fouled. That's a foul from Jedrick Da. Jake Figueroa earns a trip on the line for two free throws. First free throw is good. Jedrick Da seems to have blocked the shot of Figueroa, but our referee saw otherwise, coach. Sometimes we don't have the angles that they have. But you got to light the contest. Now it's time to make sure you're able to get a good shot on offense. Muhammad Konate against Yasana. Back to Da. Konate ask for it. Six seconds to shoot. Good defense by Diasana. It would have been nice to see Konate face up to the basket, knowing that it was ba his back was to the backboard. Uh, number 24 knew he wasn't going to do anything with the ball. That's why he's able to apply that kind of pressure and create the turnover. And uh, Diasana getting the better of Konate so many times here in the first quarter. Yeah, you know, it looks, looks like uh, Konate is playing a little bit tight. Uh, probably that goes for the entirety of the FEU team on the floor right now. Bautista, empty possession in that offensive sequence. Figueroa pulls up from deep. And it's good for Jake, Jake Figueroa. Ups the lead of NU to three, six to three. Five minutes, 21 seconds remaining in the first. Da now gives it to VJ Prey. Fakes the handoff. Bautista mid-range, it's good. He probably is going to become a focal point of this offense going forward. Maybe a little two-man game between Conate and uh, Bautista. Padrones, okay. one-hander. Pasahol, forward to Da, who finishes off the break. So, great stop here. Defensive rebound, out in transition, one dribble pass layup. That's good basketball. There's a sure runner there finishing the break. Figueroa thought of the three. Posting up Da. No good, but Parks was there. Still an empty possession for the NU Bulldogs. But they retain possession. It's last touch by an FEU Tamarao. Manansala in now for Mark Parks. 14 seconds to shoot for NU. Steve Nash Enriquez. Sometimes your best offense is an offensive rebound. Let's get the ball on the rim and let's count on your on your uh, ability to rebound with force, get the ball back, get another possession. And it starts with a good box out, Coach Russell. Yes, 
good box out, locating the ball, understanding angles, um, and knowing your matchup. If your guy isn't going to crash the boards, you can take a risk and try to go in there and get the ball yourself. Masaol now gives it to Da. Four minutes, 13 seconds remaining in the first. Konatse fighting his position against the Asana. No good on that try. Enriquez now on the break. Padrones pull up from way beyond. No good. Konatse protects the redder. Gives it to VJ Prey. VJ Prey. Bautista fakes it. Mid range. No good, but there will be a foul against Kenshin Padrones. That's a new second team foul. You got to love the fact that um, they're locating Bautista now. Bautista has a little bit of momentum going, and the defense has to react. That's why he got fouled on the jumper. This FEU team shows more fluidity today than their first two games. Well, you know, this is probably the third game under the tutelage of uh, Coach Sean. Coach Sean Chambers, and they're probably getting used to the terminology and the style of play and his identity. So um, the players are probably feeling more comfortable now in terms of their roles. During the first game against LPU, they're still uh, somehow guessing what their roles are as Figueroa finishes with the left. No good. Godinez starting a break. Gives it to Felipe. Godinez. Back to Konatse. Hands it off to Luke Felipe. Bautista now. VJ Prey thinking three. Drives. Fades away. No good. No. Gives it to Konatse. Left hand. But there was Muhammad Yasana closing the door on Muhammad Konatse. You know, one of the things that I've noticed uh, offensively for uh, FEU is that the bigs, Prey and Konate, are looking for each other. So they're playing a two man post game. A little high-low action, and uh, making it, they're making each other available uh, for open passing gaps uh, in case they get in trouble. They can find the other big, and that uh, that big can get a turn to operate. And with that two-man game between the two bigs, spacing is crucial for that coach, right? Yes. Um, and the nice thing about what they're doing is they're staying within 12 to 18 feet of each other, so the passes aren't that long. Um, but they're both able to use a dribble to draw the defense, and if the defense is there, they kick it to the next person. So uh, I think there's a conscious effort on those two to try to get each other going. Let's see if that game plan of utilizing two bigs in a two-man game will work for the cost of Coach Sean Chambers and the FEU Tamaraus. One out of two for RJ Palacielo. On that trip to the line, FEU now on the attack. Godinez gives it back to VJ Prey. Back to Luke Felipe. Maglasang. 10 seconds to shoot. Still nothing being created here by the Tamaraus. Good interception though by NU. Manansala with that steal. Jumamoy, one of the players to watch out for, for uh, NU, De La Cruz, Reyes, elbow three, Catch and good. shoot, three. shooting in rhythm, Reyes. very nice shot. Good ball movement there for NU, as VJ Prey takes that early three-pointer, no good on that try. He would probably want that shot back, coach. I think he will try and try again from that spot. <laughs> Goodine saving it for FEU. One minute, 51 seconds remaining. Maglasang, MT3. Umamoy finishing with his left, but he will be met upstairs and be fouled and will earn a trip to the line for two free throws. You know, you look at that sh that deep pointer that was just taken. That's probably a shot you can get any time in the shot clock. But because you take it early, there's no floor balance. Now Jamamo is able to take the ball, and, and uh, you know, if, if he would have made it, he would have been able to convert and make. Uh, but it would have been a four-point swing. So it's really in basketball. It's not only about the shot you take, but the timing under which you take a shot. Is that correct? There, it was Jamamo who fouled Bagunu. Creating for 
FEU. Game is tied at 10 with the 1 minute 16 seconds remaining. In the first, Reyes goes to De La Cruz on the block against two green shirts, and he is successful in that attack inside. Saw an offensive possession. Get the ball into the post, into the block, and oh, he touched the earth. Uh oh. He checked there for Bagunu. Godinez asking for help. Bagunu again. Maglasang. Nice shot there. Difficult shot for Freudland. Maglasang. Looks like NU is having a hard time staying in front of the ball handler. Maybe the floor slippery, coach. They're not used to playing in this arena. As Reinhard Jumamoy wants to shake off his defender, De La Cruz. Corner three, short on that try. Beato protects the letter for FEU. Last 15 seconds remaining here in the first. Godinez trying to milk the clock. 10 seconds. What would he do? Godinez. But there will be a foul against Jola Manansala. Third team foul, though, for NU. They're not yet in the penalty. Last four seconds remaining here in the first. And Coach Sean Chambers would like to talk things over. We have a timeout. We'll be back. Here's a warm hello from Eastern Communications. We are here to present a refreshing point of view that when it comes to delivering business communication solutions, it's time to bring back the human connection because it's just as important as the technology. Eastern Communications is business made personal. It means getting intimate with our clients' needs so we can provide thoughtful solutions to help them achieve their goals. That's why we are Madaling Kausap, May Malasakit, we are Maalam at Maaasahan. We are Eastern Communications. We are back here at the Baco Arena. Last four seconds here in the first quarter. Our fourth game between the FEU Tamaraos and NU Bulldogs. Luke Felipe, Bagunu. Felipe, other goal stab, no good. And we are all tied at 12 as the first quarter buzzer sounds. We are all tied. This is a tight ball game between the NU Bulldogs and the FEU Tamaraos. We'll be back with second quarter action. We are back for a second quarter action of this game uh, between the FEU Tamaraos and the NU Bulldogs. We have a tight ball game, Coach. We are all side at 12. What's the reason behind that, Coach Russell? I just think both teams are really keyed in on what they're trying to do defensively. Um, you know, to score 12 points in a quarter, that means there has to be a concerted effort on the defense to stop what the offense is trying to do. So, you know, both teams uh, understand the defensive game plan and they've been executing. So uh, I don't think it's a bad offense. I think it's just really good defense. Earlier, you were talking about clock management as Jorik Bautista drains that long bomb. 
we gain the lead. 16 to 12 now. Let's talk about clock management, coach. Well, you know, I think as coaches, uh, we probably underemphasize in our practices, in our training, understanding the context of the game. So end of clock, uh, end of quarter, end of game, uh, under two minutes, up by 10, under two minutes, up by, you know, or down by 10, uh, four seconds on the clock, balls on our side of the floor. How do we get, you know, how do we get the shot we want? So I think uh, this is a great opportunity here at Pinori League for the coaches to take these contexts situationally and teach their kids how to play. One way to play the game better is to understand the whole context of what you should do inside the court. And that is one aspect is clock man management here. Speaking of clock management, we're down to 8 minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the second quarter. 7 seconds to shoot. Godinez pulls up from mid-range. Nothing there. Reinhard Jumamoy, forward pass. Telegraph by FEU. You know, I, I think in today's game, there's a, uh, there's a belief that it's equal opportunity offense, right? That everyone has a green light to shoot. I think what needs uh, part of that time uh, and clock management and game management is understanding if a guy's hot, let's try to get him the ball more. Or if a guy needs to get hot, let's try to find ways to get him good shots. You wonder about that Godina shot here, that pull-up jumper. Was it the shot they really wanted in their offense? You have to wonder. And it's the duty of the point guard to make your teammates better, to, to look, to make them look better, to make them hot, to make them got involved in the game. Yes. You know, Palacielo with the turnaround jumper, bringing NU closer, 15 to 14. BJ Prey gives it to Da, goes to his left, back again to Prey. Four seconds to shoot. Does he knows it? One second, but FEU won't be able to connect on that possession as they are called for a shot clock violation. You know, I think uh, BJ Prey sort of um, missed the assignment when it comes to that two-man game. His buddy Conate was open and had an inside seal on the baseline. If he would have just been calm with the ball, he probably would have been able to get his teammate a pass for an easy bucket. So, you know, again, identity, establishment, knowing who you have on the floor offensively and trying to get those guys going in the game. Knowing what your teammates can do can also help in that rotation as we go back in action here. The Asana goes to his left. Four seconds to shoot. Rather, Reyes throws it up. No good. Pasahol asking for it for FEU. You know, you're talking about earlier what uh, what is contributing to this uh, low scoring game. Great example, staying vertical defensively, forcing the guy driving to take a tough layup. And they got the rebound. They finished the play, got the rebound. Now they have possession of the ball. Pasahol, corner three, that short. And see the discipline here, coach of both teams on defense. They have yet to commit a foul here in the second quarter. It's been a very clean game. Pray three. Too strong on that try. Bautista from way beyond his second three in this ball game. Coach Jeff Napa doesn't like what he sees. He will call a ceasefire. We'll be back here in our coverage of the Pinoy Liga Cup Collegiate Cup Season 3.
In live action, Coach Chris King de la Cruz here together with Coach Russell Ripon bringing you the action in the this game between the FEU Tamaraos and the NU Bulldogs. Second quarter, that jumper is short. Bautista gets the rebound. Gets this up to BJ Prey. What has been FEU doing good so far here, Coach Russell? Well, I think what they're trying, what they figured out is they have this triangle of offense, effective offensive players. You have Conate, who just made the bucket on a spin move. You have BJ Prey, and then you have Bautista. So now what you have to do as a defense, you have to account for a shooter on the perimeter, and you have to guard the big inside. Now, if you get the ball inside the Conate in the short corner on the block. He has options. He can go to work. He can kick out. If not, Prey can dive or kick it out to Prey. You can reseal inside and out, inside and outside or inside out high low action. So I think Coach Chambers is trying to utilize that as much as possible with these three guys on the floor. And in that offensive sequence, Coach Russell, Konatse was in the other side. He was in a mismatch situation, which, which is why he got fouled and. He got the basket too. It's a, you know, I think it's a, it's a uh, situation where now Coach Chambers is really, um, you know, establishing a style of play he wants to see, and he's figuring out which guys are effective on the floor offensively and trying to help them get great shots. Slowly but surely for the Stambaraus team, as Justin Garcia drains that pull-up jumper. From baseline to make it a five-point game, 21 to 16. Still, FEU on top. Bautista gives it to Prey in the middle. Oh, you gotta love that Ricky action. Oh, that's great play design. Player screen to to, to cross screen and then slipping the screen for an inside shot. Oh, beautiful basketball. Wash shot there for the Asana. And you still asking for a basket. Pasahol, one-hander runner. No good. Yasada protects the letter. And you now attacking. Coast to coast there. No good. The Asana second serving. It's good. They were able to get uh, or to create a tough shot for uh, NU, but just didn't finish the play and get the rebound. DJ Prey. Wasting that possession as he gave the ball away to the hands of NU. You know, it's sort of tough. You look at that, you look at that uh, sequence right there. Not being able to make a great play on offense and make the right decision resulted in your teammate getting a foul. So, you know, decision making again is uh, so important in terms of uh, how you establish flow, how you establish momentum, or taking that momentum away from the team, from your team. Back in action here, and your Bulldogs with the possession. Yasana gives it back to RJ Colonia. Goes to his right. Would want to shake and bake his defender. Yasana pulls up from outside. Yasana has a good touch from the outside. Coach. Well, they took a gamble. They sunk really low on the uh, in the post. Uh, thinking he wasn't going to be able to make that jumper, but he proved them wrong. Now it's a matter of whether or not he can do that consistently throughout the game. Meanwhile, Mohamed Konatse escaping his defender on that play to make it a four-point game still. FE on top, 25 to 21, three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Garcia, short, will go out of bounds. You have to wonder if there was a, a, another decision that could have been made in that situation. He's prob that's probably a shot he can, he can make nine times out of ten, but he didn't look like he had his feet under him. Also, Justin Garcia looks to lack legs on that shot, which is why it fell short. Ball possession back to the hands of the Tamaraos. Baguno again in the middle for Konatse. And he will be fouled upstairs by Muhammad Yassana. Even without Prey being in the game, they, uh, you know, FEU 
uh, made it a focus to make sure they got that high-low action. Conate did his work early in the post, sealed his man, and it was a great short, quick pass so he can go make a move quickly. Point guards of FEU realizing early that Konate had good position inside, dumping the ball on him in the block, which result to this foul as the Asana reacted late in on defense, but Konate missed those two free throws. Francisco now for NU, zigzagging, but he will be fouled there by Muhammad Konatse as he drove strong to the basket. That was a, that was a tough situation with the defender uh, closing out, uh, not being able to judge the distance. Uh, Francisco just took advantage, went downhill with momentum and was able to get uh, fouled at the, at, the, at, the, at, the best, at the bucket. Paul Francisco already eluded his primary defender on that play. But Konatse, the last line of defense, crumbled there he gave up that foul two for true for Paul Francisco <laughs> Nevaras replacing Muhammad Konatse with three minutes remaining here in the second quarter Godinez against Garcia having difficulties crossing that line so now you look at Konate and Pre not in the game what will be the adjustment that FE will make offensively to get great shots? Let's see if the system now is in place for FEU. Sans their big man, Asgudides, tries his luck from mid-range. Padrones will go all the way and will be good for the hoop and the harm. So you take a tough shot down here, Godinez, right? Um, had a low probability of going in, but because they weren't able to transition correctly into a defensive transition, you have a guy going downhill and, uh, you know, resulting in a foul and offensive rebound. No one to box out there for Bahama Diasana. Kenshin Padrones this year will be his comeback year as he was injured last year. UAAP season as Colonia pulls up from way beyond. No good. The Asana offensive rebound. Francisco dumps it. The Asana at the block. Circus shot is good for Muhammad. The Asana. Sort of like we talked about before. Sometimes the best offense is offensive rebound. Just get the ball up on the rim and get have your teammates get it back for you and put the ball back in for easy putback. Muhammad the Asana. Sinking that circus shot to the delight of his teammates and some of the NU fans here in the venue. A little helter skelter on this end. Uh, lack of composure, maybe. Ocean Chambers would want to talk things over. We have a timeout for Effie. You will be back. Twenty-seven to twenty-five, and you now on the driver's seat with one minute fifty-one seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Out of bounds play, touch last by NU. Seventeen seconds to shoot. Bagunu gives it to Devaras. FEU losing that handle. And you empty possession. There will be a foul called. Scramble for the ball. 
Jenshin Padrones committing that foul. Second personal foul on Jenshin Padrones. FEU, uh, NU rather. Third team foul. One minute, 33 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Bautista mid-range, in and out. Still a good shot, but they found him right away, Coach Chris. He was reinserted into the lineup, and they found him right away for, uh, for a shot. Pasaol misses from way beyond. Diazana clubbers that letter. Garcia now spearheading that attack for the Bulldogs. One minute, four seconds remaining. Padrones on the block. Kicks it out, but it was intercepted by FEU. Bautista attacking for the Tamaraos. Bagunu finds Pasahol. Pasahol open for the three. It's no good. Steve Nash Enriquez gives it to Garcia. Padrones thought of the three, but he will take too many steps on that play. Happy feet there, Coach. Happy feet. He, he danced cha-cha for, for that possession. That's one of, that was my kid's favorite movie. Uh, <laughs> Happy that dance, dancing Penguins. Yeah. Mark Parks right now will be back to replace Paul Francisco. Padrones also sitting down. E.J. Palacielo takes his place. 37 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Tightly contested match. NU leading 27 to 25. Last game here today of our quadruple header for the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup Season 3. We are here at the Paco Arena. Our staff making sure that the floor is safe and playable. Before we resume the last 37 seconds. Now with Conate in the game, you have your shooter in, uh, in Bautista. Uh, you have uh, Bagunu who has been playing that third piece of the triangle. We'll have to see whether or not uh, they can get the shot that they want, whether it's going to be a perimeter jumper by uh, Bautista or some high-low action that involves Conate near the basket. We're seeing a preview of what the triangle will be here for FEU as Coach Sean Chambers will really employ that offensive system. Bagunu gives it to Konate. Nice recognition for the short pass. Oh, uh, I got you. Really, really, really love that action that Coach Sean drew up. Uh, made the defense have to react to multiple actions at once. Uh, and maybe a, a better pass lifted up to Konate would have been a layup. Sorry miss there for Baguno inside. Last 17 seconds remaining. Steve Nash Enriquez I wanting might, to create now. I might have to steal that play for myself, Coach Chris. Eight seconds remaining. Steve Nash Enriquez. The Asana for three. No good. And that will be it at the half. And you now leading 27 to 25 over the FEU Tamaraos. Let's have a break from this tightly contested match. We'll be back after the halftime break. Managing a business becomes easier when you have the right set of tools for your business. And as the premier telecommunication company in the Philippines, you can rest assured that we can provide you with world-class and innovative tech solutions for your company. Because every business needs a strong connection. So you can get the service you need while focusing on what matters the most. Like acing that presentation with no lag with Eastern IDS, a dedicated business grade internet tailor fit with high speeds and zero lag. With a company owned bandwidth, you can have a strong and private connection that can give your business that much needed boost. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for listening. Or to handle your processing, storage, and networking needs with Eastern Cloud, 
which has a customized cloud platform that's fully scalable and flexible without limits. Oh, that's not any files. They're all in the cloud, sir. Good job. And by staying connected and protected with Eastern Cybersecurity, which helps keep your business safe from online threats. So why spend time waiting when you can spend it on building and managing your business? Let's make business more personal and achieve success together with the connection that knows you best. After all, that's why we are Madaling Kausap, May Malasakit, Maalam at Maaasahan. We are Eastern Communications.
27 to 25, and you up against the FEU Tamaraos at halftime. And we have coach Cedric Labing Isa of NU Bulldogs together with our CJ Ang. CJ. Thank you, Chris. Mga kaliga, kasama ko ngayon ang assistant coach ng NU Bulldogs, Coach Cedric Labing Isa. Coach, being that you were a game away from winning last season's title, what adjustments has your team done for your Bulldogs to finally take home the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup? Um, actually, kakastart lang namin ng practices namin. So, pero yun nga, um, since natalo kami last season, um, in-emphasize namin ngayon yung defense namin kasi mas kailangan namin mag sa defense namin instead of offense. Coach, your squad lost L.A. Casimilio and Kian Baklaan, but this is still an intact squad. What more can we expect from the NU Bulldogs? Um, Siyempre, yun nga, yung mas lalo na yung pag-iigian sa um, practices namin para um, di kami mag re sa isa, dalawang tao lang. And then, yung meron kaming mga price recruits na gaya nila Garcia at ni Reyes. So, uh, malaking tulong yun sa mga nawala sa amin. Coach, meron po ba kayong gustong batiin at pasalamatan? Um, Siyempre, unang unang nagpapasalamat kami sa buong NU community, kala Sir Manny, um, sa patuloy na pagsuporta at syempre sa buong NU na andyan lagi sa amin. Thank you so much, Coach. Back to you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you very much, Assistant Coach Cedric Labingisa, together with our CJ Ang. With that interview at the half, 27 to 25 is our score. NU still up by two in this slightly contested ball game. Coach Russell, let's talk about the numbers, why this is a low-scoring ball game. Well, you're looking at a situation where uh, everything is so even. You're looking at field goal percentage-wise, both teams are shooting around 33% uh, from the field, uh, 10 field goals made. They've both made the same amount of three-point shots, uh, also shooting around 30%. Uh, you know, the, they had the same amount of rebounds, 21 each. You know, I think the difference right now is the fact that uh, in a possession game, uh, NU has one less turnover uh, to um, compared to FEU. So that turnover probably resulted in a conversion, which gives us the 27-25 uh, score at the half. These teams very even out with against each other. Coach Sean Chambers doing his thing now for F. EU Tamaraus getting hold of the players implementing his triangle offense on his players upon arrival here last week while coach Jeff Napa are breaking in some new faces in the lineup of the NU Bulldogs as we are now set to begin the second half the third quarter of this last game of the squad Duple Heather Saturday afternoon here at the Paco Arena for the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup Season 3. I am Coach Chris King de la Cruz bringing you the action together with Coach Russell Ripon. Steve Nash Enriquez spear, spearheads this bulldog attack here in the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup together with uh, Mark Parks, RJ Colonia. Moon De La Cruz, Muhammad Diasana, Jake Figueroa, Paul Francisco, Justin Garcia, Joe Gulapa, Omar John, Reinhard Jumamoy, Kurt Persiano, Vince Reyes, Leonard Santiago, Natalibot, Patrick Yudon, Lim Jola Manansala, Kenshin Padoles, and PJ Pascello. And we're now underway here in the third quarter. Bautista. Off the screen three is good to take back the lead, 28 to 27 for FEU. I love Coach Sean. I'm watching his reaction as uh, they set up that stagger screen for Bautista to come off and catch and shoot. He get that really subtle fist bump. He knew that was going to work, and you know it's the it's a matter of a coach learning to trust his players, and he knows that he has something in Bautista. Active hands. Meanwhile, for VJ Prey, forcing that turnover, we regain possession. Nine minutes, 14 seconds remaining. VJ Prey, Paten said, one-hander floater is good. They've been giving him creative creativity in that shot, coach. Well, you got to love the, the two-man game right there. Handoff, uh, baseline drive, 
waiting for the defender to commit and then nice nice pass to his uh, teammate for uh, for a floater it's good basketball interior defense of feu caught napping on that sequence that as ej lachello escaped on that under goal stab to inch their way closer 29 to 30. bautista rush shot is no good mark parks protects the letter you can tell now that coach Sean is really trying to um move the offense through Bautista. He's trying he trying to get him a touch every time down the floor. Alashello off that fake against Muhammad Konatse. Regaining the lead for NU 31 to 30. Eight minutes, 12 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Daa gives it to Bautista against Mark Parks. Konatse fakes that handoff. Gives it to Pasaol, but he was blocked, Mark Parks, in the open left-handed layup. It's no good, but he will be met upstairs for a foul to earn a trip to the line for two. So in this sequence, you have um, Faso Old taking a very tough shot uh, at the rim. He sucked in all of his teammates. And so when NU gets the rebound, it's a one-on-one -on -one situation downhill. The, there's no floor balance defensively, and now there's a foul on your teammate and, your, and the opposing team shooting free throws. It was a three-on-one break for NU. That time, Mark Parks, two for two on that trip. Shot selection, it's so important, decision-making. Those are the things that the boys of Coach Sean Chambers must develop as they go on with this tournament. Muhammad Konate, scramble for that possession gives it to Pasaol five seconds to shoot BJ Frey cutting the middle off Mark Parks starting the break now three on one come the troops Palacello good decision get to pull the ball out uh, try to get a good shot get up get into a ball screen action Steve Nash Enriquez, his pass was telegraphed by FEU. Six seconds to shoot now for the NU Bulldogs. Enriquez must have seen an angle that I couldn't see for a pass, but that's why he is who he is. Four seconds to shoot. The Asana throws up the rear. No good. DJ Prey for the hoop and the harm, but no good. He recognized there the being out of position of his defender, but which is why he threw, threw the ball. Well, he recognized for sure that the defense was on his heels. There was no way for him to be able to move laterally or to react to any kind of move he's going to make. So it was a good choice to try to force the action to see if he can draw a foul. EJ Prey being productive here in this game makes his first free throw. And this second to inch their way closer by one point, 33 to 32. And you still up. Mama Diasana gives it to Mark Parks. Steve Nash Enriquez attacks the middle. Tries his hand on the mid range. No good, Diasana. Second chance opportunity. Mark Parks. His hand of pass was telegraphed. Pasahol not ready to receive that pass from Bautista. FU actually did a great job down here defensively rotating off of the uh, off of the ball screen. They passed off the uh, uh, number 24 to different defenders until his match could come back on, on to him and resulted in being in the right position T defensive wise to get the steal. Insights there for Woj Russell. Luke Felipe checks back in for Jedrick Daa. Six minutes, 23 seconds remaining here in the third. Padrones, who's now back on the floor, gives that screen. 12 seconds to shoot for the Bulldogs. Manansala uses that Padrones' its screen. Corner jumper is good. For Jake Figueroa, up the lead down to three for NU 35 to 32. 
every team needs a guy that can hit tough contested jumpers. And they say that the, the mid-range art is lost, but we, we need to bring back that art, Coach Russell. Well, you know, analytics will tell you that points per possession, threes and layups will get you the most points per possession. But I think when you look at how you play the game, you have to be able to be, score from three levels or multiple levels on the floor. So the pull-up jumper or the mid-range game is, I think, very important. You, all you need to do is really emphasize that in training uh, to get guys to be good at shooting that shot. Jake Figueroa, two straight baskets, make this a five-point lead. Corner three for FEU. No good. Steve Nash Enriquez wanting to find his teammates, Padrones. Manan Sala thought of the three. Figueroa, the hat hand now for NU. 10 seconds to shoot for the Bulldogs. Figueroa throws up a prayer. What a find. He has the hot hand now for NU, which prompted Coach Sean Chambers to call a timeout. We will be back after this timeout. We're back here at the Paco Arena. Third quarter action of our fourth game in the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup Season 3. I'd like to greet our partners, Amelie Hotel, our official hotel partner, Eastern Communications, Kickstart Coffee and Happy Cow, Chocolate Chip Cookies, together with Ant Box Bautista. Oh, rather good Dines. Fails on that mid-range try, but there's a foul to disrupt the play here. Not a great decision in terms of uh, that ticky-tack foul. You already had floor balance. You had five on five. Probably better just to play out the defensive possession to see if you can get a, or force a tough shot. That's Sherbach Devaras called for that foul. Four minutes, 18 seconds remaining. Reyes gets it to Padrones who that's the basket. To make this a nine point lead, 41 to 32, and you up. The nice thing about that play right there, that sequence, was the fact that they attacked the ball screen and went downhill, which made the defense have to collapse. And the big was ready to catch the ball on the run, on the dive, and make a layup. Padrones there finishing again inside. They have been targeting the hot hands here for NU. Steve Nash Enriquez making sure that his, his teammates look better in, the, in their usual position as Reinhard Jumamoy comes back in here replacing Steve Nash Enriquez. Jumamoy gives it to Padrones. Manansala uses that Padrones' screen. But there will be a traveling violation called against the NU Bulldogs ball possession. Goes back at the hands of the FEU Tamaraus with three minutes and 31 seconds remaining here in the third. BJ Prey against Kenshin Padrones. Fakes his man there for a turnaround for BJ Prey. Got to like a big that's able to put the ball on the floor and have the wherewithal to uh, have body control and take a good shot instead of rushing a bad layup. Good footwork there by VJ Prey. Yes. Manansala from way out. 
empty possession for NU De La Cruz. Offensive rebound, Padrones will not get it to go, but he will be fouled and he will earn a trip to the line for two free throws. The inability for, of FPU to squeeze the ball with both hands and get that defensive rebound resulted in uh, a second chance opportunity for 77. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a recipe for being behind in the game for sure. Kenshin Padrones proving that he is a valuable piece in the rotation of coach Jeff Napa. Pulling up some points here from the free throw line as well as from inside and outside as we near the two minute mark here in the third quarter of our last game AJ Prey tries to create against Kenshin Padrones no good on that pull up jumper Manansala against Maglasang a little bit of a heat left. check action there C Coach Chris Jola Manansala shakes his defender there on the way to driving strong to the basket to make it a 10-point lead for NU Maglasang. No good on that three. Again, NU on the attack. Reinhard Jumamoy, two minutes, 11 seconds to shoot. De La Cruz gives it to Jola Manansala. Padrones sort of the three. Jumamoy. But there will be an offensive foul. And it will go against Kenshin Padrones. Moving screen. Got to make sure that screener speed are set. Sorry foul there for Kenshin Padrones. It's been hot here in this quarter. Two minutes and change here in the third quarter. We have a clarification here for our players, BJ Prey, coming back inside. Pasaol now inside also for FEU. Pasaol diving strong. But he will have no room against the tough defense by Reinhard Jumamoy. 13 seconds on the shot clock of FEU. Maglasang gives it back. To Pasaol. Pasaol calls for a clear out. EJ Prey driving. Biato inside. That's Jerbach Nevaras. That possession was played with a lot of good pace. Made the defense have to react. That's why he had that wide open dump down for a layup. Good patience there on that offensive sequence by FEU to inch their way closer. Oh, in the sky play. Jumamoy to Jola Manansala for that slam at Jama. He's quite bouncy, Coach Chris. He's been doing that for years in the UAP, hasn't he? Yeah. Corner three now for FEU, no good for Bagunu. Reinhardt Jumamoy, 4 3, no good. Jola Manansala recovers it for NU for the second serving. 13 seconds to shoot. De La Cruz, free inside. 46 to 36. A 10-point lead now for NU Bulldogs. FEU calls a timeout. We will be back. business becomes easier when you have the right set of tools for your business. And as the premier telecommunication company in the Philippines, you can rest assured that we can provide you with world-class and innovative tech solutions for your company, like basing that presentation with no lag with Eastern IDS, a dedicated business to the internet tailor.
Tapaco Arena. 12-point lead erected now by the NU Bulldogs. Last 31 seconds in this third quarter. Bautista uses that corner test screen. Da gives it to Bagunu. Turn around. He will miss, but he will be fouled. It was good patience, I think, uh, by Bagunu to try to figure out what angle would be best to get that shot off. He didn't rush. He didn't move his feet. Stayed poised in the post and got a good shot off. And that's the imprint of the Alaska teams that Coach Sean Chambers played in the 90s. They, they really executed the triangle with great patience to great results. Yes. And I think he's well on his way uh, to establishing those kinds of uh, winning basketball concepts with his, uh, with his new Tamarau team. One of two for Baguno on the trip. Last 12 seconds remaining. In the third, Reinhard Jumamoy wants a clear out. Five seconds goes to his left. Running jumper is good for Reinhard Jumamoy. And that will be it for this third quarter of action. 50 to 37, 13 point lead for the NU Bulldogs to close this third quarter. We'll be back for the pay up period. Here's a warm hello from Eastern Communications. We're here to present a refreshing point of view that when it comes to delivering business communication solutions, it's time to bring back the human connection because it's just as important as the technology. Eastern Communications is business made personal. It means getting intimate with our clients' needs so we can provide thoughtful solutions to help them achieve their goals. That's why we are Madaling Kausap, May Malasakit, we are Maalam at Maaasahan. We are Eastern Communications. Arjun Mamoy, together with his fellow NU Bulldogs, finishing the third quarter strong to erect this 13 point lead, 50 to 37. As we start the playoff period, Coach Chris King de la Cruz, together with Coach Russell Ripon, bringing you the action live here from the Paco Arena for the quadruple header special of the Collegiate Cup of the Pinoy Liga. Season 3, DJ Palacello adds up to that lead to up this lead to 15 points. Quite confusion there for Konatse and FEU Manansala. No good on that eye in the sky play. Pasaol alone there. He was in the right place at the right time, Coach Chris. Manansala, part of the three. Periciano loses the handle momentarily. Gives it again to Reinhard Jumamoy. Kicks it out. Palacielo. No good on the three. FEU now attacking. Forward pass to Da from Pasaol. Give and go. Good two man game for Jedrick Da and Pasaol. Caught this lead 52 to 41. Still NU on top. You got to have more players like that, Coach Chris, if you want to get back into this game and make it a single digit margin with five minutes left. Jola Manansala. It's the front of the board. Pasaol fishes for a foul, and he will get one off Reinhardt Jumamoy. Second personal foul for Reinhardt Jumamoy. That was a savvy play in transition. They get the clock stopped and get some free throws. Now we'll have to convert so that way they can set up their defense and uh, play even numbers. 
Pasaol fishing for that, creating that contact. Earns the trip to the line. Muhammad Diasana checks back in for NU. Let's see clarification from our referees. What will be the right call for this? Let's see from our replay what will be the final call of our referees on this last sequence. Two free throws will be awarded for Pasaol of that Reinhardt Jumamoy foul. Danre Pasaol, that intelligent move on that drive, Coach Russell. Yes, you know, savvy vet move. Means he's been playing basketball for a long time, so he knows that uh, he was in a good position to get a, a foul called. Lane violation being called against the NU Bulldogs. One free throw will be awarded again for John Ray Pasol. Lucky break there as he misses his second free throw. Makes that second free throw. Eight minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the fourth. Francisco making his move against Jedrick Da Palacello. Gives it back to Reinhardt Jumamoy. Three-point shot for NU, no good. Colonia saves it to the wrong person. Pass a hole off to the races. And he finishes that layup. Inch their way closer. Eight-point lead by NU, 52 to 44. Jumamoy. Palacello. But there will be a foul. Given up there. Jedrick Da, third personal foul. First team foul for FEU this quarter. Justin Garcia. Colonia, mid range, short. BJ Prey protects the letter for FEU. Off to Bautista. Uh, Bautista waiting for the troops to settle. Dumps it to Konatse inside. Bautista gives it back to Konatse. Pasa all. Konatse from 15 foot. Good patience there for FEU Tamarau. Two man game on the, on the block here. The grenade handoff to attack to the middle. Kick it and then Konatse was open once he released the ball for a nice mid-range jumper defense there of NU slow to react FEU inching their way closer as they commit another turn over with six minutes 42 seconds remaining in the fourth so it looks like FEU has committed on these ball screen actions to uh, to attack the ball handler hard with the defender guarding the screener and making sure they can rotate on the backside uh, to not allow number 24 from uh, NU to, to see uh, an opportunity to get the ball. Onatse trying to shake and bake his defender, losing the handle on that possession. Gives the ball back to the NU Bulldogs with 6 minutes 23 seconds remaining in the payoff periods. Ramos against Godinez, gives it to Diasana, one-hander jumper from 16 feet will be good for Muhammad Diasana. Simple basketball, coach. Baseline drive, defense commits, open uh, mid-range. Cedric Da will run out of real estate on that possession. Gives the ball back to NU with six minutes remaining in the fourth. 54 to 46, still our score. NU wants up. Palacello hands it off to Francisco. Gives it to Diasana. Colonia against Bautista. 
but he will be called for a dribbling violation. Lucky break here for FEU. Coach Sean is putting a lot of trust in uh, the ball defender and the defender def guarding the ball screener to make action happen and put pressure, leaving a 4 3 situation for the back line uh, guys. And it's paid off so far, Coach. Bautista looking at VJ Prey. Hands it off to Godinez against Palacielo. Gives it back to Bautista. Five seconds or seven seconds to shoot. Look, Felipe, second serving. Gives it to Konatse. Ten seconds for the Tamaraos to create. VJ Prey, three-point shot in and out. So we missed there for VJ Prey. Francisco now for NU. Palacielo, good defense for FEU. Nice hustle play for Bautista. He's playing with urgency, Coach Chris. You got to love it. He knows this game is in hand right now if, he, if they can just get more stops and get good shots at the basket. Bautista making things work on both ends of the floor. Konate providing the swing against Godinez. Hard show by Diazana. Godinez, left side drive. Felipe, three-point shot. Too strong, but Konate will be caught pushing off against Muhammad Diazana inside. Sometimes you have to fight for position instead of trying to uh, manipulate a guy's uh, body in order to get a rebound. It's basic. The box out first before grabbing the rebound. That's why Konatsei was called for that foul. So, the referee saw him pushing off. Francisco trying for three. No good. Godinez secures the letter for FEU. Forward pass. VJ Prey kicks it out to Luke Felipe. Corner three. That will be good for Luke Felipe. Don't look now. The defense did their job on this end. They were able to get in transition. Get a rhythm three in the corner. VJ Prey blocking Garcia on the try. And Coach Jeff Napa want, want to talk to his boys. Four minutes remaining in the fourth. We'll be back after this timeout. We're back here at the Paco Arena with four minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Coach Chris King de la Cruz together with Coach Russell Raipon bringing you the action in this game between the FEU Tamaraus and the NU Bulldogs. Garcia, Colonia, 10 seconds to shoot. That's Figueroa rather. Empty possession there for NU. Can't buy a bucket. Bautista gives it to VJ Prey. Hand up to Pasahol. Inside to Bagunu with a reverse layup. Don't look now. It's 54 to 51. Only a three point lead for the NU Bulldogs with three and a half minutes remaining in the fourth. Palacielo fakes Prey. But VJ Prey probably will be called. For that foul, he was late to react on that defense, on that drive by Palacello inside. NU hasn't really been hitting a lot of three-pointers this game. So if you're playing two passes away from the ball, it becomes even more important to load the box to not allow those kinds of baseline drives because they were um, spaced out a little bit more towards the guys they were guarding. Uh, late rotation took place. Now you're fouling a guy going to the basket. Clock stops. Now he gets to shoot three throws. 
Palacello. Sinking both free throws. To up the lead again to five points for NU Pasaol. Hands up to BJ Prey. Pasaol tries his hand from way beyond. That will be good for John Ray Pasaol. So FEU has switched their offensive concept now that uh, uh, Conate is not in the game. They're going dribble drive with a, uh, basically a brush screen happening here at the top of the key, allowing the, the offensive player to go downhill. Kenshin Padrones finds himself free inside. Crucial baskets here for NU as they only have a four-point lead with two and a half or two minutes and 30 seconds remaining here. In the fourth, Vijay Prey eludes his defender. One hand shot, no good. That was too strong for Vijay Prey. Last touch. FEU Tamaraus ball possession will go back to the NU Bulldogs. Crucial possession here for NU Bulldogs to create some separation from this greatly FEU Tamarau team. I think Prey, if he would have had that decision to make over. Uh, do it over again. He would hit his uh, his teammate in the corner for a wide open three. Alashello strong drive to the basket with his left hand. It's good. Six point lead now for NU 60 to 54. As we enter the twilight zone, the last two minutes of this ball game. Ten seconds to shoot. Pasahol corner three. He will connect on that try. To reduce the lead of NU to just three points, 60 to 57, one minute, 52 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Can FEU get a stop? Can they defend without fouling? They're switching a lot of this action here. Steve Nash Enriquez using that Palacello screen. Palacello. Oh, oh nice pass. Two man game, Palacello to Kenshin Padrones. Kenshin Padrones doing the damage here for FEU for straight points to his name under one and a half minutes remaining. Bagudu fouled and one play. Sometimes the ball bounces your way, Coach Chris. Oh, you gotta love basketball. Gotta, gotta love, love that it. sequence there for NU and FEU. Intelligent plays being showed here by players. First, Palacello spotting a free Padrones inside and Bagunu challenging his defenders. Good upper body strength here, coach, for Bagunu as he will complete the N1 play to make it a two-point game now. 62-60 to six, to for FEU. One minute, 22 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter of this exciting game. And Bautista will tie it at 62 all. One minute, 11 seconds remaining. Timeout, Coach Jeff Naba and the NU Bulldogs will be back. And we would want to remind you of our game schedule tomorrow, 1 p.m. LPU Pirates against the Guangming College. And at 3 p.m., Our Lady of Fatima University Phoenix against the UP Fighting Maroons. 
all that will happen at the Endoron College's gym. We're all, all tied up here. 62 all. And you with the possession. Padrones, 4-3. Too strong. Bautista recovers it for FEU. VJ Prey gives it to Da. Last 52 seconds. Konate fakes the pass for Pasaol. Bautista. Oh! Konate wasn't ready. Five seconds to shoot for FEU. But Figueroa was, was there. Figueroa fades away. No good. Ball will remain at the hands of the NU Bulldogs as Konate taps that ball out of bounds. Very interesting sequence, Coach Chris. It's like nobody wants to win the game. <laughs> Let's have a review. The our officials are reviewing who, who got the last touch. Crucial play here. 29.8 seconds remaining in regulation. Let's see. Sixty-two all here. It's a crucial call here, crucial coach. Crucial call for our officials. Let's see. Ball will remain at the hands of the NU Bulldogs. Coach Jeff Napa got a free time out there. <laughs> well, you got to use every part of this game to your advantage. Jolo Manansala gives it to Kenshin Padrones, who has been the hot hand here for the Bulldogs. 12 seconds on the shot clock, last 22 seconds. Manansala loses the ball momentarily. Five seconds to shoot. He puts up the three. No good. VJ Prey recovers it. John Ray Pasahol. Last 10 seconds. Six. But Steve Nash Enriquez gives up a, a foul. That's only their third personal foul. And Coach Sean Chambers of FEU would want to make sure of their winning play. 5.7 seconds remaining. 62 all, Coach Russell. What can Coach Sean do in this scenario? Well, it's 5.7. What you want to be able to do is get a shot, a quality shot up, but also have the opportunity, if possible, to get an offensive rebound. And if NU has to foul, at least you're fouling, go into the bucket, and you can shoot free throws. Because uh, both teams are not in the bonus yet. So, you know, NU is going to try to stop the clock and try to force... FEU to make a bad choice. It'll be up to FEU and the decision makers to get a great shot, uh, something that is within their offense so they can possibly get an offensive rebound or a foul. We expect a foul here to be committed by NU as FEU will inbound the ball. 5.7 seconds remaining. They still have two free throws, or two, sorry, two fouls to give here both teams Bagunu doing the inbounding duty here for FEU VJ Prey 4 seconds 2 VJ Prey goes all the way no good Muhammad Diasene secures the rebound and we will go to overtime in this Saturday Classic here at the Paco Arena. Paco Arena, we are headed into the
Five more minutes is still needed to settle this battle against the two schools in Sampaloc, Manila, the NU Bulldogs and the FEU Tamaraos, Coach Chris King de la Cruz on call here together with Coach Russell Ripon in this fourth game of the quadruple header in this Saturday afternoon for the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup. Let's greet first our partners, Amelie Hotel, Eastern Communications, Kickstart Coffee, and Happy Cow Chip Cookies. As we have an empty possession there for FEU. And you got what they wanted. They got overtime. They didn't have to foul. Now they get five minutes uh, to play this thing to a conclusion. Let's see what happens. Three-point shot. No good there for Figueroa. What is fair share of big baskets in the first half earlier. John Ray Pasahol fighting off the screen. Jolo Malansala telegraphing that FEU pass. Again, Steve Nash, Enriquez and company attacking here for the Bulldogs. Jolo Malansala gives it to Steve Nash, Enriquez. It's FEU's turn for the steal. Pasahol, left hand layup, no good. Enriquez. Two on two break. Figueroa reverse layup. And that will be good for an end one play to break the ice here. 62 all, or 64 to 62 rather. And you. You have to wonder, Coach Chris, if Paso Ol, if he would just would have given himself a burst instead of looking over his shoulder, if he would have gotten that layup. Um, you know, that sometimes. Could have been an N one play there. Yeah. If he took that rock strong on the basket. I tell players all the time, I don't need the pogey points. I need the two points. Let's go back to basics, right? Coach? Yeah. Make the layup. Bautista against Jolo Mendoza. And you, three-point lead. Three minutes, 28 seconds in overtime. Pasahol gives it to VJ Bray in the middle. Too strong on that layup. Pasahol thought of the three. Kicks it out to Luke Felipe. Corner three. Will be good to tie the ball game up to 65 all with three minutes, 10 seconds remaining in overtime. There you go. Offensive rebound. Defense is collapsed. Wide open pass to a corner three who, uh, for a guy who has made a three-pointer uh, earlier this game. Padrones, two-man game, gives it to Jola Mendoza, Jola Manansala, rather. Make this a two-point game again for NU, 67 to 65, with two minutes, 39 seconds remaining. Bautista gives it to VJ Prey. Gives it back again to Bautista. Luke Felipe lines up for another three. No good. Tries to save it. And Konate recovers, but Steve Nash was there to get it for NU. Last touch. Jolo Manansala. Ball will go back to the NU Bulldogs as Jandre Pasaol. Signaling to his teammates, let's settle down. Let's not rush this one. It's only a two-point lead with two minutes, six seconds remaining. DJ Prey kicks it out. Luke Felipe again. Corner three. No good. No the man Sala. They got the shot down. they wanted, Coach Chris. Just didn't go in. He checked there for Luke Felipe. Kenshin Padrones gives it to Jolo Manansala. Six seconds to shoot for Steve Nash Enriquez. Four. Manansala lines up for three. No good. Konatse. Luke Felipe. Bautista, two on one break. In and out for that layup. Padrones protects the rock. Steve Nash Enriquez slows down the pace. They have the lead. 
with 1 minute 14 seconds remaining. Frenetic and they action here, separation. Coach. Coach Russell. 7 seconds, 6. Steve Nash on his left, kicks it out. Padrones, corner 3, short, but gets it back. But he couldn't handle the rock. Turns the ball over. Possession, FEU. You can see the anguish on both benches as plays are occurring in real time. The elation of a shot going in, the complete utter devastation of not being able to get a rebound as it goes out, out of bounds. Bagunu will replace Konate as Konate hops and pops on his way back to the bench. Last 56 seconds here. And you up 67 to 65. Bautista back to Bagunu. Gives it to Pasahol against Steve Nash Enriquez. Pasahol shakes and bakes. No good on that mid range try. DJ Prey. 16 footer still can't buy a bucket for FEU. Last 26 seconds here. FEU is in the penalty. Couldn't foul, coach. I think he just tried to get a stop. Padrones it's already a short the clock. ball. And it will go FEU way. 12. Point three seconds remaining in overtime. We will have a review of the last out of bounds play. NU has a foul to give, coach. Will they Probably. play it straight up yes. or will they, will they commit the foul? Probably they're going to use that FEU at this point. Is on a disadvantage as they are in the penalty as the referees are looking. Last touch. Seems to be last touch and you as our officials will rule it. FEU ball. Coach Sean Chambers will call a timeout on this last 12.3 seconds. Coach Russell, what can Coach Sean Chambers do? Can, can he go for the tie or the win? If it were me, I would try to get the best shot possible. So, I mean, like, you have to really figure out who he has on the floor. Felipe has been hitting some shots in the corner. Can they get that corner three again? Bautista hasn't really had a, a look at the basket in a while. Um, you have to wonder whether or not Coach Chambers is going to put uh, Conate back in the game. Uh, and, you know, you have B.J. Prey that can operate anything from the three-point line in. So he has a lot of options at this point. For the part of NU, it's too sure poison because anybody on that five from FEU can really hit from their spots. All they have to do is clamp down on defense to take home this win. The only thing that NU can't do, or they, sh they should avoid doing, is fouling a shooter. Other than that, they can afford or at least a, a foul to give at this point. But uh, So they're going to probably go out full hard denial for a note for so they don't get a catch, but that's... BJ Prey gives it to Pasaol, but Steve Nash Enriquez will commit the foul on that hand of play. Steve Nash Enriquez seems to injure his finger. Second personal foul. Foul to give here. Fourth, still the fourth personal foul for NU. Couple of substitutions here. Baguno and Jedrick Da coming back in. This last 6.5 seconds here in overtime. Coach Sean Chambers yelling out instructions. Let's see, last 6.5 seconds. FEU down by two. BJ Prey. Bautista lines up for three. No good. Bagunu. Second serving. And that will be it. And you Bulldogs will take home this two-point win. 67 to 65. 
It was a hard win for the NU Bulldogs who needed overtime to take home this victory. Signs, flashes of hope here for Coach Sean Chambers and the FEU Tamaraos. Props to them, Coach Russell. Brighter things ahead as they slide to their third straight loss while NU will notch their first win in their first game here in the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup. Let's now listen to the singing of the respective school hymns of these two schools. Jake Figueroa, our best player of the ball game for NU Bulldogs, who will take home this two-point hard-earned win, 67 to 65. Jake Figueroa sinking crucial baskets in the first half. Will be joined by our CJ Ang momentarily for the interview hats off also to this upstart FEU squad who was really relentless they were just three attempts short in tying this ball game up for a second overtime Jake Figueroa finishing with 13 points, 3 rebounds 2 assists and 1 steal 
en route to clinching our best player of the ball game for NU Bulldogs as we await for him to be joined by CJ Ang for the interview. A lot of bright spots here for NU Bulldogs, Kenshin Padrones. Doing damage. Yes, we also remind you of our games tomorrow, 1 p.m. LPU Pirates against Guang Ming. And at 3 p.m., we have the Our Lady of Fatima University Phoenix against the UP Fighting Maroons. All that will happen at the Enderon College's gym for the Pinoy Liga Season 3 Collegiate Cup. We await our best player of the ball game, Jake Figueroa. Also, we have two props. No, we give our props to the boys of Coach Sean Chambers. They've been developing over a week. Week to develop. We're gonna be back for the interview for our best player of the ball game after this reminders. Here's a warm hello from Eastern Communications. We're here to present a refreshing point of view that when it comes to delivering business communication solutions, it's time to bring back the human connection because it's just as important as the technology. Eastern Communications is business made personal. It means getting intimate with our clients' needs so we can provide thoughtful solutions to help them achieve their goals. That's why we are Madaling Kausap, May Malasakit, we are maalam at maaasahan. We are Eastern Communications. With our best player of the ball game, Jake Figueroa, and he's joined by our CJ Ang. CJ. Thank you, Chris. Mga kaliga, kasama ko ngayon ang ating Antbox best player of the game with 13 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists, Jake Figueroa of the NU Bulldogs. Jake, this game between your squad and FU was a close one, even going into overtime. What did Coach Jeff tell you heading into overtime to get the victory for your squad? Um, Siyempre, una-una, nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord kasi sabi niya kami panalo. Uh, close game pa. So, ginawa lang namin kung ano yung lagi namin ginagawa sa ensayo. Kaya namin siguro, ano, nakuha yung panalo. How big is this win for NU, especially this is a win against a UAAP squad? Um, actually, uh, galing sa juniors yung iba nila. So, kami parang gurang na ganun. Parang sinas ano uh, yun lang yung ginawa namin para maturing na veteran yun. Know. Meron ka bang gustong batiin at pasalamatan? Uh, binabati ko lahat ng family ko, uh, mga papa ko, uh, lola at lolo ko, uh, girlfriend ko, and lahat ng tropa ko dyan sa papang. 
Thank you and congratulations. Back to you, Chris. Thank you very much, Jake Figueroa, our best player of the ball game, together with CJ Ang. And that will do it for today's coverage of the Pinoy Liga Collegiate Cup Season 3 on behalf of my partner, Coach Russell Ripon, and our third member of the team in their broadcast panel, CJ Ang. This is Coach Chris King de la Cruz, Pinoy Liga Cup number one.